today we're producing a video using Google Docs. That's right, Google Docs. I think my favorite part of using Google Docs is the fact that you can see in real time as one person's adding something all in the same doc. Google Docs can be your best friend, but most people use it in the wrong way. Google Docs can be a really important tool every step of this process. Most people create a Google Doc for every project that they're doing. So if they have a brainstorm copy or a blog that they want to get into, they'll start writing in the doc. What works really well is to have a collaborative doc, something where multiple people can meet in the doc and brainstorm together. I use Google Docs all the time in my video creation process. We make long form produced content for YouTube. We make short form content for social media. We make audio content for podcasts and we make instantaneous videos with our own platform to send one-on-one -on -one messages. So we make a lot of videos around here. Definitely a lot of videos being made here at Dub. Today I want to focus on how I use Google Docs to just streamline certain things, make things easier. We do this a lot of the times with our strategy sessions and our copywriting and things like that. We're writing out emails or landing pages. Using this for video production is the same workflows. Collaborating with your team is a really important stage of pre-production. Being able to get the first topic ideas in your notes in a shared Google Doc is really useful. I always invite members of my team to talk about the topic. I also use a channel in Slack to talk about topics for upcoming videos, but I found Google Docs is a great way to communicate in real time. Rough script into the Google Doc, and then we had a couple different variations of it. Someone would do their pass on what they would add, and then someone else added their pass, like here's Ruben's take, here's Shannon's take, all in the same doc in real time. Google Docs is so useful for the script writing process. Once the script is written, we can collaborate with team members. Instead of team members editing your document directly, they can go into suggest mode and suggest changes that you can then approve or cancel. It's up to you. The reason why Google Docs has disrupted Microsoft Word in so many ways is because of the collaboration. Use those tools. Get multiple people in a Google Doc while you're doing a Zoom call. In fact, use it instead of a Zoom call. Have everyone meet up in a doc and watch what it's like to collaboratively write something. People can build out sections. They can add bullets in a brainstorm. The amount of information that you can get in that collaboration within a Google Doc is unbelievable. Also in pre-production, whenever we're having meetings, I like to have a Google Doc open and while I'm live transcribing the notes, I can always go back and the entire team can reference those notes. It's very helpful. Now when getting into production, all of that data, all of the pre-production is right there in the cloud, really useful for producing videos in a collaborative format. One of the most underutilized features on Google Docs is the suggestion mode. And the reason why suggestion mode is so powerful is because you can see writing that someone else did, but then you can provide suggestions that they can then approve, reject, or even comment on. Using suggestion modes prevents people on your team from copying over information and then losing it completely. When you're in the editing process and you have rough drafts, different versions of the video, it's useful to have a Google Doc to paste all of those links to those rough drafts. Since we're using dub.com to share our links, one thing that teammates can do is then make a video reply right from the dub page. So if they have any thoughts that are more longer form, longer than they would wanna type as a note in the Google Doc, they can just make a video reply right from that dub page. Record a quick video with your phone. Throw in the dub link in the comments. That way, someone on your team can watch that video and get context as to why you left that comment. And this can avoid tons of back and forth. Grab a free account at dub.com if you're interested in learning more. Once the video is completed, it's time for distribution. It's time to get this video out into the world. Google Docs can be very useful for organizing the different assets. If you have a member on your team that handles the distribution, Google Doc is a great place to organize the assets that they will use to share on different social media platforms. The thing about comments is that they're kind of like emails or SMS messages. They can be easily misinterpreted, which is why it's so critically important to give more context when you use comments. Put links out to images or diagrams or PDFs other types of information that will allow the person to read and research the information that you put in your content. In case you don't know, Dub is a video messaging platform that allows you to quickly record from your phone or your screen. If you wanna provide more context and avoid a 30 minute Zoom call or a lengthy phone conversation 
or even back and forth comments, record a quick video with your phone. Throw in the dub link in the comments. All in all, Google Docs are just a really awesome way to produce videos. Asana is a great project management tool that we also use, but Google Docs is often at the center of these workflows. So for more tips about video production, sales, marketing, and beyond, consider subscribing to our channel, The Daily Dub. When you subscribe, it's how we know that you liked this video and you wanna see more. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, we'll get back to you in the comment section below. Until next time, farewell. Bye-bye.